Hello, welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about seasons of self. Yes, this is a season for you to take care of you and to take care of self. Come on now. Can I get an amen on that? You know, you don't want to be selfish, but you do want to be, um, if you're a caregiver and you're giving, 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 or entrepreneur, whoever, doctor, lawyer, nurse, teacher, plumber, whatever you may be in life, home homemaker, like I said, caregiver, you want to make sure that you're not extending yourself too much to your clients, to the ones, your loved ones that you're taking care of or giving care to, okay? Yes, you want to have service in you. You want to be a servant leader. You want to be all the above, and that takes on a lot of responsibility. But in this season of self, which I am here to offer self-care tips and health and wellness tips and spirituality and caregiver support, we want to let you know that you're going to need to take time out for yourself. You know, that's what I've been preaching basically all uh, the end of the year here. But we're going to go ahead and just make sure you focus on that. You know, like I said, you don't want to be selfish and it's not selfish to think of yourself first because you give, 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 give so much and you can get wore out. Now, you don't want to go to all the way of uh, the other spectrum of this stream where people just don't give nothing and they just take, 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 take. <laughs> no, that's not how this thing works. We want you to be able to give, but we want you also to be able to learn that you need to uh, set boundaries so that you can take in for yourself. For three years straight, my testimony is that I just gave everything into my mom and to the home and just doing everything that I could to be the best caregiver because that's how I am. I'm a workaholic. That's my testimony, but this is about you, not about me. But I use my testimony to help you to know that you can burn out and you can forget about self. And that's what I had gotten to a point where I was just kind of like in a slump. And, you know, after we went through all the trauma and drama we went through in 2020, you know, um, I was still giving. I was still giving, 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 giving. And a lot of you all were too who had children. You had to give, give, give. You had to be a school teacher and a mom and everything during the uh, pandemic. But what I'm trying to say is that it took me three years, 2019, 20, 21, and 22. Well, three years, 20, 21, 22, to come back, to make a comeback of a season of self. Now I'm finally getting myself back to things I like to do. I had I, I couldn't even read a book hardly because I was so into focus on doing, 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 and giving, 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 giving. But in this season of self, I want you to go ahead and take time out and smell the roses. Take time out to read a book. Take time out to go for a walk. Take time out to get away from all the chatter and all the uh, uh, things that are coming at you and trying to attack you in this season. Take time out for you in this season of self, okay? Claim it as a season for your new year. Claim it as a season. It may take three months. It may take six months. It may take a whole year for you to get back to yourself, okay? To who you are, what your goals are, and what you want to do. Well, God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.